Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Origins 2018. I'm sitting down with Antu Tran from Plan B Games, also in collaboration with Eric Spiele. And you guys have brought us a really hot title here at Origins, which is Coimbra. Yes. So uh, I'm presenting you uh, Coimbra here. Uh, so we've already set up uh, for the, the first uh, round. So basically this is a game where you try to influence noblemen to help you in your cause. And uh, with this you will mainly increase in influences among those uh, four spheres, which are council members, merchants, we have uh, clerics, and we have scholars as well. So basically how you will try to influence those uh, noblesmen will be by dice drafting uh, these uh, dice. So they are usually rolled at the beginning of a round. And then, according to turn order, we will draft them. So according to a uh, rules that when you take a die, say, you will I love insert it. it. Uh huh, insert it into the. So just so people can see that, then we got this cool little. Uh, die older. Die, die. Die castle? Die castle, <laughs> let's say that. And you choose in which row here you will place it. According to a rule where you have to put uh, these dice in order. In here it's in decreasing order. In, in here this is in increasing order. So every player will choose. And this signifies that uh, you are placing your die according to a priority order. So it is to be known that, yes, a higher value will give you priority when you want to buy a card over here. But this, is also, this also means how much you're ready to pay. May it be with the gold currency or the guard currency. I'm just going to grab one of those. So like here's an example of gold and an example of guard. Guards. Yes. So basically, once every die uh, has been uh, drafted, there will be one remaining one. And we'll proceed to uh, the resolution phase where uh, we will take back our die and uh, we'll get maybe a card or maybe a favor tile. So as we can see on that favor tile, we can see a lightning bolt, meaning that once you purchase that uh, specific tile, you will get bonuses according to it right away and uh, immediately. So might it be vict victory points directly? Might it be steps for your pilgrim that is moving uh, on the board? So you have here a, uh, a map of uh, the region surrounding Coimbra and your pilgrim will move around and visit uh, monasteries providing you once again sometimes bonuses with uh, a lightning bolt or sometimes passive abilities uh, that will help you throughout the game so once uh, those die have been collected along with um, with cards or favorite tiles there's gonna be a change uh, in turn order so depending on a few criteria, turn order might change. And this is how we will resolve the uh, later phases uh, of the turn, of the round. Following that, according to the die we have collected earlier, we will also have an income phase. And the income phase goes depending on how far we are in those four inference uh, tracks. So, according to my die here, if I uh, have collected a um, orange die, I will uh, receive gold according yep. to my position. So we have different small brackets that will uh, increase my um, my position with those markers, uh, depending on which currency I'm collecting. Yeah, and I thought this was a very clever way, since you needed the dice to be different colors to show yes. represent these four different tracks, but you still needed to know that this was the yellow player's dice versus the red player's dice, that yeah, these holders exactly. were such a wonderful way of being able to have a player color and a colored dice. And that <laughs> makes all decisions 
uh, important because uh, earlier on during the round, it was the value on the die that was important. And now the position the on the board here, and now this is now the color. The color, because uh, I want to call it specific income. Later on, once we all have collected our income, we can invest uh, into one of those voyage cards. Once again, those voyage cards have a specific currency associate, associated to the to those gold cards. Exactly, and we uh, those are basically end of game um, objectives that we try to fulfill uh, during the game. What triggers the end of the game? So after four rounds. So basically here we have uh, during first round cards of level two. We'll go through um, round one and two with cards of level two and round three and four with cards of level three. So yes, you will have sometimes you will uh, try to build an engine or combos. So after those uh, four rounds, there's a final scoring and according to many different criteria, you will score your um, voyage cards, you will score according to your tracks. positions on the different influence tracks, and also uh, mainly on the green cards you have end game uh, victory conditions. Some characters also have a uh, diploma uh, printed on <laughs> them, and this is a set collection, uh, and the more variety of diplomas you have, the more points you will earn and also any remaining currency, guards, coins, and shields, shields that were, um, sorry, uh, crowns that were used for player order, will also earn you uh, victory points. And most points wins. Most victory points wins. How do you think a full game would take us? Uh, our first few games might take you two hours, but we're able to wrap it up in an hour, actually, when you're <laughs> used to it. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have been really talking about the art style of this game. Yes. So, can you talk a little bit about the artist who was working on this? Uh, so, our uh, in-house artist is uh, Chris Williams. You might have seen uh, covers uh, of Panamax, Merchants and Murders, uh, John Cart, uh, Flick Him Up. And now, we have this, as you can see, is uh, Talon is covers a large spectrum of yeah, style. I know, right? This it's funny because when when you mention all those covers, it's a drastically different style. And, yeah. and I, I think yeah, talk about having a lot of skills and variety. Yes, exactly. <laughs> He's very passionate about that and learning different styles and we are pretty glad to have him uh, have him uh, on the team. Well I am pretty glad that you were able to bring this by and uh, let us take a look. If you guys want to check that out, this is Coimbra, which is a collaboration between Clan Lee Games and Eggert Spiele. And uh, thank you so much for letting us take a look. Thanks to you, Beth. Absolutely.